up my babies welcome back to another video my name is Kay and this is Crown Baller before we get into this video make sure y'all hit that red subscribe button down below join the team come sit on our bench we would love to have you here of course so getting into this tutorial we are doing another quick weave but instead of it being a just a quick weave on our head we're getting into a flip over quick weave wig so I actually have videos on my channel already on how to do this style but this is just for the girlies who don't necessarily want to keep their hair on or you know keep the hair sewn in or glued on the head but they just want to get up and go so this is pretty much a half wig a headband wig whatever you want to call it so of course getting in I have freshly washed hair freshly blown out and I'm just separating my leave out so what I do for my leave out is I just twist it with a little bit of eco salad and a little bit of leave-in conditioner and I just twist it up going toward my face and then I put a flexi rod at the end and that pretty much helps it be a seamless little look so next I'm going to tame the rest of my hair and this is the braiding pattern that I have my hair in just my hair going straight back but the anchor braids going around and that's going to help me if you want to sew on your hair or if you want to pin those clips in I'm also putting on two shower caps that are just going to help me with when I glue the wig um, to my head. I'm not going to get any glue on my hair and it's going to allow me to just take that cap off and peel the plastic out. So these are some bundles that I'm using from the wig dealer and obviously there are previous bundles that I use in a sew or in a quick weave so that's why they're like glued to each other but that's okay because we're going to reuse the bundles by any means necessary job. Yes. So I'm using some of my favorite glue and then I go in with this um, Eben spray, the red can. It's active. Now this is my first time using this and I'm not going to lie. I have become a fan of that spray. It just held a better like hold when it came to me gluing my tracks on. Like my tracks aren't going nowhere on my cap. And I've normally used the black or the yellow can of Eben, but that red can, it just is something different. So I would recommend doing that because that's what I'm gonna do for the remainder of my quick weaves. So now I'm just kind of sizing up those already cut pieces to where I exactly want to lay my track. Now, what you wanna do in a flip over, if you have curly hair, if you have straight hair, if you have kinky straight hair, whatever the case is, you want to continue on as far like as far as like laying your tracks putting down your foundation which is the spray in the red can and then you're going to want to just lay your tracks in a u shape so when i say laid in a u shape you guys kind of see me working to the hair toward my temple so i'm going to just continue to lay the hair around toward my temple and then lay the track like glue the, put the glue down and then lay the track from there now i am one of those people who i don't really like cutting my wefts if i don't have to so this is you guys watching me um now just lay my tracks and then just using the flip over method so when it comes to actually flipping your tracks with a quick weave you just want to make sure that when you flip it your weft is completely flat so that means you flip it and then you make like lift the flipped part so that it's flat and not necessarily on top of each other so that the glue can hit it and make sure that it is laying flat as flat as possible now you also can use a flat iron if your bundles don't have glue on them if they're fresh out the pack you can use a flat iron to like literally flatten out your wefts and make sure they're extra flat but if you don't have you know freshly <laughs> fresh out the pack bundles you can just make sure that they are laying as flat as possible we don't want no extra lumps humps and dumps even though this is curly hair we still want everything to be flat and seamless so once I get to the very top, I'm just making sure as I go, I am making sure that the glue and the product are all glued and dry on my cap. And then once I put the dryer on a little bit longer, I come all the way up to a horseshoe shape. And that's when you see me having these short pieces at the top. And I'm just going to continue to go in along the U part and just go horizontally instead of in a U shape. And once I reach the top, I go ahead and make sure everything is dry. So once we get to the very front, this is going to be the portion that is going to help us with the flip over part so I just took the small piece that I already had cut and I'm just sizing it up to the very small rectangular space that I have in the front of my hair and then I'm just gonna cut these small little slits 
to make them fit in that space and I'm just gonna make a bunch of them honestly if you want to cut as you go that's fine but I find that already having the pieces kind of prepared already is gonna be the easiest like you know application so you can also you know put the glue on each little piece but I find that adding all of the glue into that one section of course sections at a time and then adding your piece that actually helps you work just a little bit smarter and faster. Now what I will suggest is that you make sure that those small pieces are very close together. You don't wanna have any gaps in those front pieces because this is the part that's gonna flip over. So your natural hair, yes, is gonna cover it, but this is the portion where it's gonna look like this hair is all yours and you don't want it to be any gaps because that will obviously expose you and we don't need no extra exposure, okay, that we did not ask for. All right, so as you can see, I am cutting the pieces. I'm adding my glue to the top and then I am adding those pieces. Now, once I get to the very front part, it's like maybe a square, a space as big as a square, I'm laying the pieces going back toward my head. So instead of laying them vertically like I was laying them, I'm laying them horizontally. So to close off that space, you don't see any tracks in that area so and then once i finish i go ahead and use the blow dryer especially in that place where i had all the glue and i'm just blow drying that mug if you have a hooded dryer obviously you want to sit under that to make sure everything is dry but baby that's it so it's time as you can see me praying hoping everything came out the way it was supposed to it's time to take this baby off so as you see yes honey we not hot no more we have been delivered i'm taking off the shower caps that were within the wig cap and here we are with our quick weave wig that literally was less than 20 to 30 minutes so i'm gonna actually apply this wig for you guys this is the next day i went ahead and beat my face because i had to go take some pictures and i added some clips to the wig as well i was initially going to sew it on my head but i wanted to give this wig a little bit more versatility i also kind of like define the curls the night before so i just used a little bit of Aussie curl mousse and then i used some uh leave-in conditioner and i just kind of defined the curls not too much but you know just enough to give me a little pop of curl and now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i blend this hair now. okay so i just start by taking out my hair from the twist it's already like crinkly and curly if you want to put heat on your natural leave out you can i opt to not do it especially with curly hair like obviously this is a low maintenance less heat type of look so i try my best not to put any heat on it but of course you know sometimes you just want to have the look for the look but today i am just going to show you guys how i fully like blend so i literally take a piece of my hair and then a small piece of the bundled hair and i just put a small twist in it and it's not like a long twist it's maybe about like three twists and then I just kind of let it go and I twirl it around my finger and it just creates just a flawless blend look and like baby you can't tell me that it's not my hair okay you just can't <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you made it all the way to the end don't forget to thumbs up like turn that notification bell on so you know when I post new videos definitely you know comment down below I want to talk to you babes and all the good things but thank you so much for watching this video I can't wait to see you babes in the next one ciao Oh, 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 oh.